new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you so you can pretty much see the title and you see the clear-cut edits that i had to do by way of you know youtube because they like to flag videos and different things of that sort and i just want to put out the news directly to you guys without anything getting blocked or whatever right so i'm going to show you the difference in between the two stories and this is uh this further goes into what i tell you guys before when it deals with how the media decides to portray certain stories when it deals with race a lot of people will like to say that racism doesn't exist and all of these other nuances they don't exist everybody is you know human being everybody is created in god's image and god loves everybody and yada 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 right but yet I will show you how the media will decide right to put out the news when it deals with a black man committing the same crime and when it deals with one of their own the reflective majority the true uh, americans the pagans right uh european descendants when they themselves one of their cops right does the exact same thing to his wife a jury has convicted a man of taking the life of his wife a jury on Wednesday found Willie Reeves guilty of taking the life of his wife, who was 52 years at the time. Her name was Andrea Reeves. The incident happened back in May of 2019. Deputies with the Elmore County Sheriff's Office responded to a home on the 300 block of Lucky Town Loop. When they arrived, deputies were told that a woman was found deceased inside of the master bedroom. Andrea Reeves had been injured once with a weapon willie reeves was convicted of taking the life of his wife after she confronted him about having an affair this was stated by the police i am proud of the hard work done by the ecso and i praise the support and encouragement given to us by the family of the victims they help motivate us to tirelessly pursue justice for their loved one we will be ready for sentencing we will attempt to put Willie in prison for as long as we possibly can for his evil, cold-blooded act of violence. Willie Reeves is scheduled to be sentenced on April 20th. Now, notice how that was pretty much short, sweet, and simple. Uh, they stated exactly when it was done back in 2019. Uh, they stated he is now convicted and he will be sentenced and that the police will do everything possible in order to put him directly behind bars. And also, you know, the title of the story as well. Now, notice this is the exact same news group, right? who wrote the first story about the black man and specifically what it did, what he did, you know, to his wife. Now let's look at what they decided to put down for one of their own. A Scottsboro woman is fighting for her life after being harmed on Monday night. Investigators confirmed a Scottsboro police officer harmed his estranged wife before taking himself out. Officials say that 46 year old Stephen Miller injured his estranged wife amanda miller at their home on berry road according to scottsboro police captain eric doring officers received reports of shots fired shortly after 8 50 p.m on march 14th the victim's sister lori scarsberry amanda miller was at her friend tracy kendrick's home when the incident occurred scarsberry states that stephen miller had just finished rehab for drinking and was going back to work at the Scottsboro Police Department, but was on leave at the time of the incident. She also states that Amanda and Stephen Miller were having issues and she was filing for divorce. Stephen was found deceased with a self-inflicted harming and Amanda is currently in critical condition. Scarsbury also states that although she is heartbroken by what happened to her sister, she is also praying for Stephen's family as well all right so they decided to technically lighten right the the harm 
right that was occurred uh to this wife who was simply filing divorce because she obviously did not want to be with her drunkard husband that more than likely had uh emotional and uh anger issues right and on top of that you can just add in the drinking and then on top of that the aggressive behavior that normal uh normally right police officers have because what people don't understand is that when these guys are normally right on these jobs where do you think you know all of that aggression basically goes if they basically just finish their shift of 24 hours or whatever it is and then they go home all of that anger all of that rage all of that frustration all of that adrenaline that comes directly home with them and what they're going to do is they're going to take it out on the nearest and or the closest person, which usually ends up being the wife or the kids or whoever the significant other individual was. And his wife, knowing the fact and more than likely knowing the real statistics of what takes place when you are married to somebody who was a part of the police force, she was like, you know what? I can't deal with this anymore. I'm directly out of here. Right. And well you have this cop he was like uh you're not going to be going anywhere right and and that's what he had made up directly in his mind now like i said before the the main thing that i want you guys to pay attention to is when it came to the black guy right they put everything out there they put it directly in the title they had his photo directly up there they didn't show a family photo of him and his wife and the kids you know during christmas or holidays or them redoing their nuptials no they showed you him in his lineup sitting there not a care in the world knew what knew what everything was and it, it was what it was right they showed it how it should be but when it came to one of their own who was also a cop they're like you know what this is a sad story um i you know i i feel for this story um, I, I know people who are a part of the force. My great, great grandpappy was a part of the force. I have friends, a part of the force. So I'm sensitive to this issue. And he's also one of my people. So let me sit up there and write, you know, what the title should be right. Which is what he wrote on the left side. Right. I, of course, like I told you guys before, I had to edit that right for YouTube purposes. Right. So then once wind, you know, caught up and people were like yo why are you you know doing this you know with the story it's it's pretty amazing that you know this officer did something but you don't want to put it as that because when you go unedited right if you go look up the story you'll see that they put it in such a way where it seems like it might have been a home invasion where it seems like somebody who has something against the cop actually did this but that's not what the story when you read it that's not what the story states right so then this is why that same news organization went back and they decided to retitle the story to how it should have been now of course they can't put a real picture you know of the cop up there because he's no longer here because he took the coward's way out now what they could have done is they could have got a photo of him in uniform and they could have put it directly up there with that title but like i said before that's not what they wanted to do because they understood that if they did that then that would you know put a bad light on cops that would make cops seem a certain type of way so what they decided to do is get a photo of him barely smiling which still isn't a good photo to begin with and then one of his wife where she's just trying to put up the front of hey everything's hunky dory da 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 and there you have it but like i said before these are the games that they like to play when it deals with black people committing a crime and when it deals with one of their own committing the exact same crime like i said it is what it is at the end of the day i just hope that people are pretty much aware of what it is so that when they go into story after story after story after story the psychological warfare and the mind games that they decide to play it's no longer going to exist when it comes to your frame of mind because you can clearly see through all of that and cut past the bs